Hey there! Today we'll have a look at a pen. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, by this brand. Monteverde. This pen was uh, sent to me, lent to me uh, by uh, Joost Appelboom from Appelboom Pennen. Um, one of the people in the Netherlands who now carries Monteverde. Uh, interesting, interesting brand, American brand. And um, fascinating. I've used quite a bunch of Monteverdes, reviewed quite a bunch of Monteverdes, and my experience is kind of similar every time. I like the box, green box, obviously, Monteverde, it has the little uh, uh, mountain logo on there, simple thing. Warranty card, filling instructions, simple, no frills, no frills necessary. I do like the box, it's very simple and it's, it's, I, I think it's, it's elegant for these pens. This is one of the Invincias, and this is the Invincia with the anodized blue cap. I'm going to cover the past the pen, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. But first, thank you Yoast for lending me this pen, I appreciate it. Let's have a look at this. Top of the pen, Monteverde logo, both mountain range and M for Monteverde, always nice touch I think. Well, that's that blue anodized cap with a clip. Ball, simple design. Uh, the center band says Monteverde USA, and uh, Invincia uh, in the uh, on the other side. What about that clip? Clip is very tight. Has that ball? Let's check that. Yeah, does work. May rip off a short po shirt pocket, but it, it it does work. You have this barrel that looks an awful lot like uh, carbon fiber to me. Um, I wasn't really, really able to um, um, verify that, but it, it, it really looks like it uh, to me. Um, now we have the end there with those, those rings. These are not threads. Uh, it's not one of those pens that, that posts by threading. Um, so, but, but, but still, I'll come back to those in a second. You have this little end thing and there's nothing on the back there. The pen unscrews. I'll come back to that. I mean the cap unscrews. And um, here we have the section, sort of, well, I guess, sort of hourglass shaped, black coated nib with the Monteverde logo on there, with the mountain range twice. I've always liked, it's a little hard to see here because of the light, but the, the mountain range just crosses through the breather hole in the nib. I think it's a nice touch, I mean, it, it does look cool. And it's, uh, it's actually etched, not laser engraved. It says Monteverde USA. It says Monteverde on the on the, uh, well, the one of the sides of the nib near the the tines, and it says M on the side for medium, of course. Pen is a cartridge converter filled pen, simple uh, and a pretty heavy barrel. And I always like the heavy barrels because they screw on very easily and very firmly when you do that. Remember these sort of rings, aids in posting, very secure posting. The pen itself is not super small, it's a reasonably sized pen, fairly thin section, um, but well sized, and it posts because it posts so securely, you get a nice pen. I don't think this looks insanely huge, maybe if you have very small hands it does, but I, I, I think it's a, it's a comfortable size that, that works well. What do I like about this pen? What do I not like about the pen? Well, it's a couple of things I like. Typically, Monteverde pens are quite affordable. Um, this one is definitely coming up to a, a higher price at 120 euros. That's about 100 euros without VAT at, at Applebone. Now, but 120 euros, that's becoming quite a lot for what this is. Steel nib, cartridge converter. Um, if this is carbon fiber, then I can see why it would be a bit more expensive. But that's pretty much the only thing that would warrant a high price. It's it's there's nothing on there, real value. So pretty high price. Um, I think it's fairly comfortable, even though this is a thin section. I don't find it uncomfortable, even for a person with larger hands. Pleasant to hold. 
So I think that's nice. Another thing I really like is the fact that it has a number six nib. You can get a lot of replacement number six nib, uh, nibs fairly easily and uh, that means you can build up quite a, a range of nib options. They may or may not all be black but I mean you, you can get that. And number six is just nice. It looks nice. It looks not absurdly small. And of course the fact that it's uh, a black coated nib works well given that it's an all black pen. So I like that. I like that. I know the cap isn't, isn't black but once it comes off it's a black pen. It also has some weight to it. Having some metal on there, uh, which I like, feels robust. It doesn't feel very cheap, which I also enjoy. So these are all great things. Things I don't like so much. In my experience, pretty much everything that's black on Monteverde pens chips off at some point. Um, I, I've, I've seen that on a, a number of them, whether it's the nib or whether it's the, the lacquer on the pens itself. Uh, it's, it's chippable. And the advantage of the nib, of course, as I said, it's number six, so you can replace that fairly easily. But it is a bit of an issue. Now, on this pen, I haven't seen any chipping yet, but I mean, it's only a loner, and I've only had it for not too long. One thing that bothered me about this pen is the capping mechanism, and I don't know exactly what it is, I, but it's weird, and it's a little hard to show you, but you there's a lot of threads in the cap and there's not that many threads in the barrel and something strange happens. It's smooth up to this point and then it's it gets a lot harder and you kind of have to push it through and then it almost feels like, like something snaps on the inside. I don't know if it's because the... hope you can hear that. But it... it something is off there and I don't know if they all do it I don't know if it's if it's plastic on metal that that's weird but I don't know it it hard to describe but it feels weird it feels like you are forcing something I don't like that so much okay then the final thing is as to Monteverde Monteverde is a pretty affordable brand but I think they're pushing a little bit with the price here um, it's a nice pen for sure but I'm not sure if I see 120 euros in this. Uh, that's that that puts you up with quite some nice pens, um, and um, I don't know if I'm if I'm getting that. Having said that, it is a solid pen. It feels solid. It doesn't feel cheap. I like all of those things. So I see how people would enjoy it. Probably a nice gift. A bit expensive maybe, but a nice gift. So I see all of that. We need to see how the pen writes. That's what's coming up next. Um, I hope this was useful so far. And uh, measurements of the pen will be on the website. High resolution pen, uh, pictures of the pen are on the website. And I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so there we go with the Monteverde Invincia. Um, and this is the uh, medium nib and the ink is just Pelican Royal Blue. Um, although this is a medium nib, I find it to write pretty finely. And it has a peculiar feedback. It's just... I... I'm a little hesitant to call it scratchy, but... I, I think you'll hear it. It's uh, it's definitely not the world's smoothest nib, and you also notice that paper fiber gets stuck in it. So maybe I should just call it scratchy. It's not my favorite nib, that's for sure. Wetness, of course, also a bit of a property of the ink, and this is a slightly dry ink, but it's really not that wet. So maybe making it a bit wetter would also lubricate the nib a bit more and make it a little bit more wet as you write and flow a bit better and maybe a little less scratchy. Line variation is some to be had. Not bad. Not a flex nib. Not advertised as such. Reverse writing turns the fat fine 
because I think it's more a fat fine than it is a real medium uh, into, I don't know, an extra fine. Very dry. And I can foresee how that Niv would stop writing at some point. And there you have it. Interesting pen. Yoast, thanks a lot for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. Guys, hope this was useful. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.